Welcome back to the Chasing Tone video show and podcast. I'm Brian. I'm Max. And today we talk about NAMP. We talk about why guitar amps sound much better when louder. It's, it's science. Yeah, it actually is science. And then we show them off my favorite piece of rap gear from the 80s. <laughs> so with that, let's jump right into it. This is a top to a, you know what we use on stage, but it's very, very special because if you can see, yeah. the numbers all go to 11. Look, right across the board. Oh. 11, oh, 11, and most of 11, the and then amps go up to 10. Exactly. Does that mean it's louder? Is it any louder? Well, it's one louder, isn't it? Sweating? No, I'm just good. It's probably it can go both ways. Up, down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Expose my chest a little. Did you get that for Christmas? I did get this for Christmas. I, That's I can't, cool. I took it off now. It's been several weeks since we've done one of these. It has been. A lot has changed. What? We're back to work. Yep. <laughs> it's Santa's gone. It's cold. It is cold. I think before, I need the jacket. <laughs> before I, Christmas it was like sixty five here. I've actually been out out in your barn out of the out of the door into your barn all mm -hmm. day. Preparing stuff for NAM. I've been like, we have this uh, with that big kerosene heater, so it's either like 150 degrees, mm -hmm. like sweating, or it's like we had to turn it off and it instantly gets cold because the whole building's like metal, right? <laughs> metal and concrete. So you're like, or you're just like rolling sweat. It could be sick. Who knows? <laughs> so you've been putting the pedal board together. Yeah, pedal board for, for together. Nam. I mean, tons of stuff. Right. We got this the big one container. Of like, we well, we already shipped uh, one container out there. Two. Two containers? Two, yeah, two, two containers. Two huge containers. And then we've got another container that we're filling up now. <laughs> so basically it costs us like $40,000 to <laughs> ship stuff out to Nam. Yeah. But that's, <laughs> that is a, a 48 hour all hands on deck. Mm -hmm. We have to get this filled because I think it has to be picked up. Today is uh, Tuesday. It has to be picked up by like Friday or mm -hmm. Monday at the, at the latest. Right. And it's like last minute sort of thing. So <laughs> yeah. This is that's all the great. important stuff like pedals. Yeah. So... We can run out there and check it if you want to. Yeah, sure. Let's go, let's go see what you're working on. Hey, uh, pedals. Yeah, pink ones. So this, we had to totally rebuild this today. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have some, some blank spots. Right. You know, so uh, we're actually missing the tumnus. Uh -huh. Might have something hey, going. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Might have something going here. Yes. Might have a couple of things going here. Mm -hmm. Your favorite tuner. Uh, <laughs> We had to build some new cables, mm -hmm. yeah, fix some old ones. Yep. Uh, we have a, a mess of our board underneath. This is this is before, so we, we got to tighten this right. up tomorrow. So yeah, this is, uh, <laughs> and this is usually what my board looks like, Normal like on my, like when I go gig. That's pretty much what it looks like on top of it. Just, uh, just all crumpled everywhere. But we there actually three pedal pads. Yeah, we actually had to add a third one just just so we can get you know uh, a little bit everything a little bit more quiet and. Have some of the the new stuff have its mm -hmm. its own power supply and some old stuff have its own power supply. And Got some black extensions. Extensions, yeah. Got some uh, IECs, whatever they're called. Mm -hmm. I call them Mickey Mouse plugs. Both control for uh, power supply. Sure. Okay. Yep. Uh, we have like one daisy chain together. We have a splitter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you have it splits off here and a two. Mm -hmm. They run each and a two of those individually. We we got homemade brackets here. The traditional mm -hmm. uh, Voodoo Labs. Brackets that are supposed to fit don't. So Bob and I came up with some angle iron and uh, handcrafted, huh? Yeah, furniture screws basically. <laughs> but it's it's mounted like a rock, so it won't go anywhere. Hopefully, <laughs> might not. We'll yeah. find out. We'll find out. Yeah. Other than the uh, so, so why this pedal order? So what we basically did was uh, we wanted always want to run your buffer first. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's important. The tumnus, which we're uh, actually, I think we were playing it earlier in the studio, so that's why it's not on the board. Uh, I can't tell you what well, you know, but I can't tell you, right, 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 you guys, why we're putting this pedal here, but you'll find out mm -hmm. soon enough. Okay. Um, and then, like, these are on our website, we have kind of the essentials. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we'll have the, the DB Plus and the Eagle compressor. You have to have the compressor. Mm -hmm. Then from here, we decided um, I put the Euphoria and Peasley together. Mm -hmm. uh, this is actually our signature series all the way across, but the uh, Euphoria and Paisley, just so when we're doing demos, I can show how these stack up against the uh, channel one and two of the dual, of the dual fusion. Mm -hmm. So I can kind of show people what these sound like, then I can cross-reference these. Mm -hmm. Hot wire, obviously, because it's in signature. Mm -hmm. And then we start doing all our uh, amp-in-the-box type stuff. Okay. So we'll go pinnacle standard. Right. 
Pinnacle Deluxe. Right. Gotta have both. I mean, they're similar. They're actually identical, pretty much. Yep. But you gotta have it, and you got your slow, get your triple rack. The velvet's not an amp in the box, but it's kind of a heavier pedal, so I kind of throw it in there to mm. show. Uh, the triple rack can actually fuzz up, so I kind of compare those sometimes. Right, right. Uh, the Sovereign's good, it's a great gain stage, kind of like a second channel on your amp. Mm -hmm. Then your plexi drives, obviously. Then we jump up our signal chain all the way up to 30 something. That's our uh, Vox in a box, or, or Vox ish. Vox ish. Ish, box. yeah. Vox ish in a box. Uh, our Clarksdale. Uh, that which is you know, tube screamer goes to every amp, so you have right. to put it there. Right, right. Uh, your catabolt, your tweet fifty seven, uh, the low blow, just because uh, we don't have enough pedals in our baseline yet mm -hmm. to accommodate an entire board right. that's coming. Then we start getting into our, our uh, tremolos. After that, we go into the faux analog echo. Mm -hmm. Then we jump up here to our faux spring reverb, and then our faux tape echo. And then we'll jump into a couple other new things. Oh, they're not there yet, but they will be. <laughs> and then Brian's favorite tuner of all time at the very end. I like TC Electronic stuff. I'm just not a fan of, like, that's not my favorite tuner, you know? Well, because it's not a strobe. I like the strobies. That's why I didn't get anything for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's true. That because I was a bad boy, so yeah. I didn't know list. Yeah. But yeah, so this, okay. this so is that's... the board as right. of right now. Right, okay. So. Cool, man. It's a lot to do. And then uh, we get that big creep. It's as tall yes. as you. <laughs> this is how we get things done with a hammer. This is how you get, we're this basically fit. putting a chair in here and this is how you're getting down LA. Yeah, that, that's not how I'm getting down LA. <laughs> but yeah, this is you. <laughs> so you. I'm not paying for you to sit and cook, like highfalutin. Now, there looks like there's a lot of space in here, mm -hmm. but it will literally be packed to the gills. Yeah. <laughs> right before we come out. We have tubs, we have, uh, actually, uh, me and Bob Hubert, the guy that's been Huge and get all stuff together with and me. Build a and build a pedal board, Hubert pedal boards, check them out. Um, but him and I actually have a running bet with our office manager. If we can get everything done in the next like two days, she's buying us lunch and I don't miss a free lunch. So <laughs> we will have everything done before we get there. Is it gonna have cloth napkins that said lunch? Oh yeah, I told her steak, which probably <laughs> means Burger King, but I'll, it's free, so I'll, I'll settle. Steak yeah. and shake. Steak and shake, yeah, get one or the other, can't both. Uh, yeah, right. this is just like just part of it. I mean, there's a whole lot of wheat. Uh, with the wonderful Jason Wilding will be coming out with us from the UK. His, he actually just had back surgery. Mm -hmm. He's gonna be able to lift anything. I think Alex is coming out the day after we set up. Mm -hmm. So guess who gets to lift all this crap? <laughs> this guy. Uh, he's the bigger guy anyway. So he's, <laughs> no, he's got most of working out. And I mean, but I'm excited though because everything has wheels. Right. So we can we can roll. Yep. Um, but yeah. So that's cool. kind of an insight. It's, Nam seems like a lot of fun. It's actually a lot of work. Like believe it or not, rewiring that big monster of a pedal board and all this. I've been going at it since what now, like eight thirty nine o'clock right. this morning. Yeah. So we stopped briefly for lunch and right back at it. So right. something breaks, you're uh, th over a thousand miles away from home. So <laughs> you can, I pack lots and lots of stuff. Um, I won't even show you my toolbox. It's a whole other story. <laughs> That's a story for another time. All right, so let's head cool. back in here. Thank you, Mark. And we're back. Huh. You notice how your seat's shorter than mine? It is shorter. Yeah, for you guys at home that. You can see this. I have a huge. We're making Bob work here. I'm sorry, Bob. Um, <laughs> but I'm, I have such a huge torso. <laughs> My chair has to be the little one. And I, can, has to have the big I have one. a short torso. T tor yeah, that word. Torso. Torso. So when we sit, we're even. <laughs> I'm actually slouching a little. If I sit like bolt upright, then I get <laughs> yeah, you get stretch. a stretch. So yeah. yeah. So if you guys are ever wondering, like, whose chair is bigger? <laughs> Brian's. Brian's a bigger chair. <laughs> Okay, so um, sorry. So we talked about the pedal board stuff. We talked yeah. about Nam stuff. What's next? What'd you get for Christmas? I actually didn't get much for Christmas. I actually, well, you know what? Actually, I don't know. I'm one of those guys. Like, I've already got everything. I mean, not. I mean, like, I've always wanted guitar amps, and now I've accumulated guitar amps because that's the sure. business I'm in. Yeah. So I can buy them and write them off. So, you know, that's, that's the good thing. It's like, I don't have to, like, sit, ask my wife if I could buy a guitar amp. Don't, I have to ask my lie. accountant. You still have to ask. <laughs> I have to ask the accountant, but the, the wife, I can just say it's a business expense. I wanted a muffletta, but I wasn't good enough. You know what? You should, we should ask Josh from JHS. Josh, Santa Josh. <laughs> Do you find it in your <laughs> tall Santa heart? See, see if he's got any <laughs> Santa gifts left. No. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so... I was on a forum today, believe it or not. 
and uh, they were talking about uh, the question was why do why does my guitar amp sound so much different when it's loud compared sure. to when it's you know at regular home listening levels and kind of the context of it is that I guess this guy had like a family and he's like you know I can only turn my Fender Hot Rod Deluxe up at like 0.5 but you know, whenever I'm able to gig with it, I can turn it up, and even sure. if, even if it's not really distorting, just the volume of it is sounds better. It sounds better in my ears. You know, how do I get that sound at a low level? And kind of in, he was also talking about how um, he was trying to figure out like the cabinet emulation stuff. So he's like, you know, whenever I use my, I don't remember if it was a Fractal or a Kemper or whatever it was, he said, you know, it it sounds good, but like it's I still can't get that. It's still not that feeling of like having a loud amp in the room, yeah. and and it's really it's explainable. Like you can like I think those things are really great at having the mic sound, you know, at at the ready. Yeah. You know I mean that's what's great, but I, I think you can't replicate all that stuff because there's so much that goes into it. So like starting from the beginning, I mean, as far as amps go, like the louder you turn your amp, the more signal you're sending through all those stages and the transformer down to the speaker. And all that stuff is going to react differently with those different signals, right? Even uh, the speaker is going to react differently with more volume. Um, and, and then, and you were talking to me about we were talking about this about the physics side of it. This yeah. is this is, it's called the it's, it's called the Fletcher Munson curve. Yeah. Right. So your ears actually hear things differently, and this is very laymanish. They they hear things differently when the volume is loud than they do down low. Nonlinear. Yes, because an air is nonlinear, right? <laughs> yeah. So, it, it, so there's a lot of properties that change due to that, and you also have the fact that, like, your bones, the way they vibrate, your skin vibrates, and all that adds up in your brain to what you're hearing. So, it, like, with you know the, a modeler of some sort, you're you're not there's no huge vibrations in a room. You just you're hearing it here. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're saying I'm a big uh, conductor of sound. <laughs> <laughs> I'm one giant tone machine. It's exactly what I'm saying. It all makes sense now. Yeah. So, but I mean, you know, all, <laughs> all that stuff kind of adds up to, uh, you know, why, why a guitar amp sounds different down low than it does up high. I mean, in the Fletcher, the Fletcher Mans, Munson, blah, 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 Fletcher, Fletcher Munson. Munson curve. Say that ten times fast. Yeah, the Fletcher Munson curve, <laughs> named after Charles. Of course, sure. Right? Yeah, Charles so, Munson. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that I mean, that plays a huge part on it. I mean, I, I think what it, you probably know more about this. That is it. I think it's the bass frequencies that you your ear tears tends to hear more of as you turn the volume up. Correct. And um, I think you drop a little bit of treble, right? Correct. Yeah, yeah. I think you're right. Also, weird side note: when you get older, bass per bass volume becomes more uh, perceivable than high frequencies. Mm -hmm. So you hear like a lot of guys. Like more, you know, either a, a more ice pick tone because they're trying to compensate for the treble they can't hear anymore. Right. So, yeah, old guys, too much treble. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, all right. So, with that, let's uh, let's do a gear vault real quick. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> So this is my ADA MP1. Had several people ask me about like my settings. We did this with the hair distortion thing. We yeah. used this. Uh, we did a couple podcasts ago whenever uh, I played it as well. And um, one of my favorite units from, I guess this is probably 80s or so. It's got chorus built in, all that good, good 80s stuff. But here's my presets. So I'm on the uh, distortion tube setting and there's two different gains so the first gain is 2.4 wait a minute actually yeah first gain is 2.4 the second gain is 7.0 master the gain is just a volume 8.0 my bass is at 12 my mids are at 2 my trebles at 6 my presence is at 2 and I don't have any chorus or anything on um, and that's it, running into this port city head there, just running right into the sin, just using the power amp into this Marshall cabinet. This has WGS greenback speakers. I got it mic'd with a 57 right next to my Stormtrooper microphone. So, yeah, that's it. That's my settings. That's what I like. 
Yeah. I'll play a little ditty real quick. All right, so obviously there's a bit of hum right now. What? A little bit of hum. What? <laughs> it's a little loud, but still, uh, it sounds better when loud, as we last talked. It's true. Everything does. So Tell my wife that. Yeah, so with, <laughs> so with those settings, this is the hair distortion tone. <laughs> That's it. You know? I love that sound. No, a, no fan though, no tights, no stock, sock stuffing. Well, I got that. That's all natural, <laughs> you know? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Baby, baby socks. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny, baby socks. Huh? Uh, but yeah, that's it. Yeah. That's your vault. Boom. <laughs> so how, what do you think about your vault? It's cool. Uh, ADA was cool. We had, I actually talked about a lot of stuff. NAM, physics, Old, ancient, 1980s equipment Brian had in high school. <laughs> <laughs> and and a, a bet I have with the manager. Exactly. That's all kind of gambling, physics. We got all kinds of cool stuff. <laughs> all right, so that's the show for this week. Uh, make sure you stay with us for next week, right before NAM, And yes. then it's our 100th show. It's at, at NAM. At NAM. At NAM. Yeah. Some special so, guests. So. Yep. Yeah. So uh, make sure you comment below if you're watching this. If you're listening to this, make sure you... Call us on the phone. Call Max. No. 765-352-8626. But just, just share it. Get, get some share love here. Call 100 of your closest friends. Let's do this. <laughs> exactly. So, all right. So for Brian. Max. Thanks for watching. See you next week.